What am I doing? Guys, I am back for another video this week. I am filming a chit chat get ready with me slash everyday makeup. I did an everyday makeup tutorial. If you want to check that out from about six months ago, I'll leave it in the description. I do a lot of different things and got new stuff. And I wanted to share it with you guys. That is the video for today. If you're new here, I'm Morgan. I post videos every week. So if you want to subscribe and join the fam, hit the button down below to subscribe. So hit the little bell so you get notified every time I post a video. Also follow me on social media if you haven't already. It is always in the description of every one of my videos. I also have a website, mtbymorgantaylor.com, if you want to check that out. I post twice a week. I really love posting that, so definitely go check that out. It's in the description below. Without further ado, I'm gonna get into the video. But the first thing I like to do before I put my makeup on is to use serums because I get really dry skin and it's important to moisturize your skin before you put on any makeup. This is my serum I use. It is the Chanel Blue Serum. It's a little bit pricey, but I think it's probably the best serum I've ever used. It's super moisturizing, super hydrating. After that, I put on a little bit of uh, moisturizer. I couldn't think of the name. And this is the Oil Free Moisture from Neutrogena. I got it at the drugstore. Super good if you have like skin, like dry skin or like a skin issue. Like I used to have very bad eczema right around my eyes and this stuff saved my life. If you are looking for an affordable moisturizer, definitely check out Neutrogena. They have a lot of good things for sensitive skin, which is super important. First thing I always do when I'm doing my makeup is concealer. This one is the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer in the shade Fair. So I like to do just wherever I need some help, but my skin has been really awesome lately because I'm trying not to wear too, too much makeup. So it's usually just under my eyes I do it. And like right here I have a little bit of pimples, so I kind of just do that. And then take my little sponge. This one is not Beauty Blender brand. I don't know why. It's in there, how dirty that is. Ooh. It's a pretty good sponge and it doesn't need to be wet, which is awesome. My other Beauty Blender always had to be wet in order to blend anything. And it also has a flat end. It's from, um, I think it's 365 Beauty or something. It's in the drugstore. I didn't get them. That is my concealer. That's it. My next kind of thing is contouring. I'm a contour fanatic because I have such a round head. I like to make my cheekbones stand out a little bit more. I like to use the Chanel bronzer in the shade 50, number 50. Health glow, Healthy Glow Sheer Contour. I always have used this since I started using makeup. It's probably my favorite contour of all time. I like to apply it with the Chanel brush because I know how to use it. I have two of them because I broke one. Long story short, contoured way too hard and it started to get loose, so I got a new one. So usually I like to just contour the uh, my cheekbones, a little bit of my forehead, and usually sometimes I'll do my uh, jawline, but not usually. I also make extremely weird faces while I contour. It's gonna look extremely dark on camera. But I promise you, in real life, it is not that dark. That is my contour. Oh, this side is a little dark, I'm not gonna lie. Then I just kinda do this on my forehead to give me a little bit of color since I am pasty white. This whole summer I've done nothing but like work. I haven't gotten the chance to go outside and like get some color. That is my contour. That's really all I do. For eyes, I kind of keep it very simple. I use this Milk Makeup Face Gloss and I just put it on my eyelids to get like a glossy lid. I really am into the dewy, natural like makeup that looks like you're not wearing any makeup. As you can tell, you can barely see it, but it's super cute. For blush, I've been using this Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush from Tarte in the shade Exposed. I saw Meredith Mickelson use it a long time ago. I apply it with this Real Techniques brush. I've seen her use it a couple times and I thought it was so pretty that I got it for myself. I really have like a a system for how I put blush on. Like people go, oh smile. I kind of just apply it like that. I don't. It's a very light blush. Tarte makes very light products. So I kind of just do this and that is what that looks like. It's a nice summery color. This color is like really pretty 
and the packaging is such a pretty pink for highlight i like to use a natural look i do not like to look like i have glitter all over my face less than my ultra which is a different story i used this new product i got the milk makeup highlighting stick in the color lit it is literally lit it's awesome i usually apply it with my finger so i don't put too much on i kind of just take it and stick my ring finger in it like so look how pretty is that and i just kind of go like that since my skin is already glowing on one side i don't use a ton it looks very brown in the packaging but it is very 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 Light. I also like to take some of it and put it in the corners of my eyes to kind of give it a little bit of a um, glow. I do it down my nose. I'm sorry my mirror is dirty on the other side, but that's life, man. Do you guys want an update on my life? Um, what have I been doing? Working. <laughs> I've been working a ton, uh, furnishing my apartment in Manhattan, so expect an apartment tour coming in the coming weeks or month. I also am excited to get back to take some photos. I'm really excited to get to live with Katie again and show you guys around New York City. If you guys want to see more of New York City, ask videos, let me know because I love making videos on New York. I love New York City. I'm so excited to get back and live there. And then I start school in the end of August, but this weekend I'm going to New York City for a birthday party. I might be vlogging it. Definitely will be taking pictures, so follow me on Instagram if you don't. Next thing I like to do is my lips because um, they're usually like really chapped. This is what I applied before I filmed this video, but it's because I have extremely dry skin right here, like eczema. It is from Lit Lisps, Lisps Intense Protection. It is like a beeswax, uh, natural, organic chapstick. For color, I like to use this. This is the most awesome product ever, and I'm not going to talk a lot about it because you're going to just have to read my blog post. This is the Milk Makeup Oil Lip Stain in the color Tude. It's like the red color. I don't like to use a lot of this because it's super pigmented. You look like you just ate a red popsicle. I kind of just go like, I dab it. I dab it. I go like that, and then I kind of just fix whatever doesn't look right. And then I kind of... As you can tell, it's very red, so it stains very well. I've never used it over chapstick. It actually works so much better over chapstick than under chapstick. The final thing I do for my makeup is my Dior Addict It Lash. I swear by this mascara. I love it so much. I've read online that mascara is supposed to be really awful for you, like for your eyelashes to be doing that. But also, like, the, what they make mascara out of, I've heard is really awful for you. So, I don't think there's a cute way of applying mascara. I used to stick my tongue out. I used to be like, as I did my makeup. I wish that I had the Pixie Beauty. Um, Aspen Ovard actually came out with the line with Pixie Beauty. And she has, like, a bottom lash mascara. A uh, little tube, and I wanted to get it, but I didn't want the brow gel. The brow, like the tinted brow. Because I don't put tinted stuff in my eyebrows. I kind of just let them be. My final thing is chapstick. This chapstick is essential. I use this new one from Christian Dior. It's the Creme de Rose Smoothing Plumping Lip Balm. And I don't need the plumping, I have quite large lips, but I love the smell of it and the the consistency is like butter. And that's it. That is my makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe like I said before. Comment anything you want to see. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye. God bless the broken road. Let me